We must face our fears and love each other. Oh, 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 oh. channel it feels so weird to be sitting here vlogging right now like I think I took a good it's been three almost four weeks since I've posted a video um, if you follow me on social media then you know that ever since Raheem left things have been a little crazy here um, and I was just emotionally I was sad and trying to find a routine for my boys and I had to definitely take a much needed time off of vlogging because it was becoming more of a chore to me and not as usually is like a fun hobby for me and right now it was just definitely becoming like a chore and it was something that needed to get done along with all the other responsibility that I took on when Raheem left um but I am back I'm finally back I'm so excited I'm ready to start vlogging again um I'm currently 30 weeks pregnant so we are almost in the home stretch. We are in the third trimester now compared to my last um, pregnancy update. I'm pretty sure I was in the second trimester, maybe at the end. I could totally be wrong. And then in a couple days, I will be 31 weeks. So um, I have an app that says that's considered eight months. 31 weeks to 35 weeks is considered eight months. I don't know. A lot of them say different things. So I'm just going to label this my eight month pregnancy update I'll really quickly show the bump since it's been so long since you guys see, have seen it because I know that's what everybody wants to see and then I'll show it how I usually do at the end she's definitely growing but I have to say my body is definitely shaped different than it was for the boys at this point for her I feel like even though my belly is big I feel like it's actually not that big compared to how the boys were um i feel like more of like my hips my boobs my thighs that stuff has grown more for this pregnancy than the boys did and the boys i was just like one huge basketball like really huge belly and for this i'm a little more spread out i don't know if you guys carried your girls that way let me know down in the comments below so let's go ahead and get started on my eight month pregnancy update Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to say that's going to shock a lot of you, um, her name is no longer Isla. Um, I, you know, for like the past, I don't know, two months almost, it just hasn't felt like her name. Like, I've been really second guessing it. I wasn't comfortable with like that being her name and I kept trying to push it off like thinking like, you know what, I'm thinking way too far into it. Her name is Isla. Um, Everybody in my family started calling her Isla. I was calling her Isla. Raheem was calling her Isla. Um, and then I was just, like, every day I was thinking about how I just didn't want that to be her name anymore. And it's been really hard discussing names with Raheem going away because um, I would write a letter and he'd be like, I don't like that name. I don't like that name. And then um, I would get a phone call. And actually on our last phone call, I told him a name that I'm really, really in love with. And we had, like, 30 seconds left on the phone. And he was like, all right, we can we can choose that name, but what's her middle name? And I gave a name suggestion. I gave a couple middle name suggestions really quick, like just off the top of my head. And he was like, he told me the middle name that he really loved. And he was like, that's it. No more changing it. So she has a new name, um, but we actually, not to tease you guys, we won't be sharing it until she's born because God forbid her name changes again or she's born. And I don't know, she doesn't look like the name that we have right now and let's say she does look like a Isla or many of the other names that we've considered um, I don't want to just keep putting names out there so we're gonna wait until she's born to share her name but I'm really 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 in love with the name that we had chosen um, I hope you guys will like it as well um, and that's all I'm gonna say on the name topic so as far as pregnancy symptoms goes my first one would be swelling I'm getting swollen uh, I'm standing a lot during the day, you know, chasing two small kids, plus housework. And actually, um, since I've been here, I watch um, my cousin's son, Lincoln. I know you guys have seen him on 
my Instagram and sometimes in the videos I watch him during the day too he's the same age as Matt so I'm constantly going and my feet are so swollen by the end of the day my hands are swollen I had taken my wedding rings off because they got stuck when I was pregnant with Mason um, and I didn't want that to happen so I just went ahead and took all of my rings off um, and then my nose obviously my nose gets pretty swollen every single pregnancy It'll keep swelling all the way to the end. By the time I deliver her, my nose is going to be so swollen, I already know it. And then I just see it also in my face that I'm pretty swollen. So my second pregnancy symptom would have to be the heart palpitations. Guys, I still have the heart palpitations. I remember this being the worst part of Mason's pregnancy, and it's definitely the worst part of this pregnancy. Um, I feel like I can definitely handle this pregnancy, all of the symptoms and everything that it's been with. It's definitely been easier than my boy's pregnancy, Maddox being the absolute smoothest pregnancy ever. But this is the only thing that makes me feel like, oh my god, I'm so ready for her to be here. Because all the other symptoms, like especially me being out of breath and stuff, those are things that, and like the body pains, those are things that I'm so used to, this being my third pregnancy back to back. But the heart palpitations are just something that I feel like there's no working around it. Like I just have to sit there and let my heart, my heart rate gets to like 140, 130, 140 and I'll just be sitting there relaxing, doing nothing and it's honestly the worst feeling in the world. Usually they're in the morning. Every single morning I can guarantee that I have them. Whether I drink coffee, whether I drink coffee or not, I cut out coffee for weeks to see if it would work but then it just made me super exhausted with the heart palpitations so I might as well drink the coffee and still have the heart palpitations and at least be able to have some energy. Now I've noticed too this week I'm starting to get them at night so I'll be laying in bed at night and I just my heart will not stop racing which leads to insomnia which I cannot go to sleep like the other day last week I didn't go to sleep till 3 in the morning because I was just up and then I gotta be up early with the kids at like 6. Um, so exhaustion is definitely settling in here in the third trimester. Okay, next, this is something that I know everybody wants to know about, which is how my belly is doing because um, of the tummy tuck that I got six months prior. So guys, my belly does not hurt. I don't know why a lot of you guys are assuming that it's painful for me or anything like that. Like I feel no extra stretching, nothing. I don't feel any pain. It's just the same as if I was pregnant with the boys. Um, the thing that I will say that I, I knew was going to happen was I've gotten stretch marks around my belly button, which I was pretty good about not getting stretch marks on my belly for the boys, but I know because my skin was so tight and I had just gotten the tummy tuck that it was a given that I was probably going to get stretch marks. And I was not putting the the cream on my belly as much as I probably should have been um, so I just know here in the eighth month um, they're just gonna get worse I remember for Mason I had no stretch marks and then the last week of pregnancy which I hear this happens all the time you just get them all and I mean it is what it is at this point I'm a mom of three kids I'm gonna have stretch marks somewhere so I mean my belly button scar too from um, what happened had happened with my belly button it's stretching as well it it just looks really terrible I mean I can show you guys at the end my belly just looks bad but whatever I'm already married so when I got here we got here January 24th I was weighing in at 138 I weighed in now today on March 13th and I was weighing in at 140 so I've only gained two pounds in six seven seven weeks is that seven weeks i don't know but i've only gained two pounds and it's actually okay for me to be in the clear to gain one pound a week since then so i'm feeling really good about my weight gain um i've been eating like com complete crap like really bad so i don't know how i'm not gaining weight and like my body feels like i'm gaining weight like my belly is much bigger since the last update and things like that but I'm also much more active since Raheem left. Um, just less time to be lazy. So I think that could be why. And then the last pregnancy symptom that I've been having is indigestion. Um, and like acid reflux. Which this is like the prime time for it. I already know. Um, so before I had left to come to Georgia. I prepared and asked my doctor for the same um, medicine that she had given me 
for Maddox because it works so well and so I started taking that two days ago and I've had no acid reflux and I just feel so much more comfortable and that because that was keeping me up at night too um, but so now I don't have that anymore and it's great I do have to say besides the heart palpitations this has been my easiest most smoothest pregnancy even on my body like my hips and stuff hurt but everything's been smooth I feel like I'm just rambling on now I am planning on getting an HD ultrasound for her I love the way the 4D HD ultrasounds look I love that they're so clear um, I actually want to get it soon because I know the 28th week is like the best time to be getting it um, so I actually need to schedule that soon. what else oh my new doctor I've only had one appointment there I just missed one on accident and I had to reschedule and I'm now going to be going to the doctors every two weeks now that we're in the third trimester. Um, I'm not liking them, if I'm being completely honest. I've It's a big practice. I think she said there's like 10 midwives that deliver your baby. Um, I feel like when I went in there and was discussing to her like my history and how I'm supposed to get ultrasounds, every four weeks um determined by my last doctor she was kind of just like no that's ridiculous um she didn't say ridiculous but she was like that's just too much exposure there's no need for that um but yet at the end of the appointment she said like we didn't get none of your your records over from your last doctor so i don't like that she just determined that i wouldn't be getting any more ultrasounds just based on her feelings alone like my records weren't there she asked me if i had losses and i told her that i had had five previous losses she didn't ask when they were or how far along i was for all she knows i could have been like 30 something weeks along um so i i didn't i don't know if i didn't like her specifically but i just didn't like i didn't feel secure with that office um so i am going to be going again to see how that works and um, I was babied my last two pregnancies. I had a really good doctor, just one private doctor my whole pregnancy who knew me and didn't even have to look at my chart and just knew my history and knew my name, knew everything. Um, so I am going from that to this. So I'm a little spoiled and babied with it, but I'll see how I feel at the next appointment. Okay, so other than that, we are done and I'm going to show you my bump. Um, so it's gotten a lot bigger since the last time you guys saw it and please keep in mind i do have stretch marks on my belly now but i'm just showing you and being real and this is motherhood okay so this is with the shirt on and this is with the shirt off as you guys can see, these are where my stretch marks are coming in and my belly button scar is kind of spreading. Okay, so that is it for today. I'm going to be ending the video here. Um, don't forget to leave me suggestions on what you guys want me to see, what you want me to be vlogging. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos, a lot of baby prep videos, a lot of like packing my hospital bags, baby watch, all that. But let me know what else you guys want to see because I know you guys like to see more of like my kids and my lifestyle and my like vlogging instead of fit sit down videos. So let me know what you want to see. I'm already really, really out of breath just from I don't even know. Okay, so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. I'm so happy to be back. Thank you guys for not unsubscribing and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh, oh, oh.